Sex globally has led these millions of six to read, understand, and study the virtual language. Take Yak Arj Guptam, written in Rag Tilang by Guru Nanak, for instance. Yak Arj Guptam pays for the rose Kuntarta. It means I offer this one prayer to you. Please listen to it, O Creator Lord, says Guru Nanak. Haka Kabir Kareem to the Ad Parvatta. You are true, great, merciful, and spotless, O Chancellor Lord. Not just the words of Kartar, Creator, and Parvatta. Lord, even the concept of the word being a transitory place. Mr. Gangoli, Mr. Pramala Chaudhary, Singh Sahab Ranjit Singh Gaharji Dathidar of Takshi Harim Mandirji Patna, Dr. Asanullah Shukra Lahi, Doc Director of Persian Research Center Iran Culture House, New Delhi, Professor Raghunath Tatta, Professor Saleh Rashid, Mr. Parvinda Singh Chandu, President India Iran Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Mr. Budinath Mishra, Mr. Lal Singh, and Dr. Mansur Alam, Dr. M. Firoz, Dr. Iftahar Ahmad, and my friend and brother, Dr. Fahad Halim. The respected delegates and scholars from different universities and institutions of India and abroad, honored guests, guests, ladies, and gentlemen. I feel privileged as the General Secretary to place outlines of the Iran Society on this August solemn and historic occasion of the inaugural session of the International Seminar on the Contribution of Sikhs to the Promotion of Persian Studies. The Iran Society was founded in 1944 by an eminent Orientalist Dr. M. Isa, the Society and International Center of Education, Culture, Arts and Literature. It is a purely academic body devoted to the promotion of the Indo-Persian studies and Indo-Iranian cultural relations through scholarly pursuits. The Iran Society has to credit a good number of publications of research value with one commendation from Orientalist and Iranologist. Its journal, the Indo-Iranica, has become a storehouse on Iranology and adorns the selves of the leading universities of India and abroad including the libraries of the European universities. Dr. Mohammad Isa, the founder of the Iran Society's contribution to Persian studies was no less important. He compiled in two volumes the anthology of the modern Persian poets of Iran under the title Sukhanwan Iran Dar e Hazir, which won him Nishan e Ilmi medal from the government of Iran. He wrote and edited four eminent poetesses of Iran and Hafti Aklim and many other books. He delivered the Sir Abdullah Sarwardi lecture of Calcutta University in 1935 on the Persian alphabet. In 1967, the Iranian government decorated, decorated Dr. Isa with gold medal and also awarded him a royal casket in recognition of his services to Persian studies and Indo-Iranian relationship. Dr. Isa founded a society with the objects of promoting the study of language, literature, religion, and philosophy, art, and science to make the society a center of intellectual collaborations and cultural understanding between Indian and Persian-speaking countries. 
लॉर्ड मोवेल लॉर्ड माउंट बैटन जवाहरलाल नेहरू सर तेग बहादुर सुप्रो सी राजा गोपाल आचार्य मौलाना अब्दुल कलाम आजाद डॉक्टर जाकिर हुसैन प्रोफेसर हुमायून कबीर एंड डॉक्टर प्रताप चंद्र चंद्र प्रोमिनेंट पर्सनेजेस हु इनकरेज द सोसाइटी इन दिस एकेडमिक एंड कल्चरल एक्टिविटीज इट वॉज इंटेली ड्यू टू द एफर्ट्स ऑफ मौलाना अब्दुल कलाम आजाद that our quarterly organ indu iranica flourished as a unique journal of its time on indo persian studies the society had the honor of being patronized by molana azad dr ali azhar hegmat sir jadulla sardar dr hinda kumar mukherjee dr tara chand professor humayun kabir dr talidas nath national professor sumithi kumar chakraj ji डॉक्टर जाकिर हुसैन डॉक्टर बी सी लॉ जस्टिस सैयद सादात अबुल मासूर जस्टिस ख्वाजा मोहम्मद यूसुफ मिस्टर हाशिम अब्दुल हलीम जस्टिस अल्तमश कबीर मिस्टर सोमनाथ चैटर्जी एंड मेनी अदर्स एंड हैज टू डे द इंप्रेसिव लिस्ट ऑफ नेम्स ऑन इट्स रोल लाइक एज फॉर्मर वाइस प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ इंडिया मोहम्मद हामिद अंसारी लेफ्टिनेंट जनरल जमीरुद्दीन शाह मिस्टर के रहमान खान माई लॉर्ड जस्टिस चिता तोज मुखर्जी एंड मेनी मो प्रोफेसर रघुनाथ दत्त प्रोफेसर सलेहा रशीद मिस्टर प्रवीण प्रवींदर सिंह चंडियो मिस्टर मुद्रनाथ मिश्रा मिस्टर लाल सिंह एंड माय गुड फ्रेंड जावेद रसूफ फॉर अलीम एंड इन द ऑडियंस इज सिटिंग Pretty Saira. So good evening to all of you, ladies and gentlemen. I am grateful to the authorities of Iran Society for inviting me to inaugurate this two-day-long international seminar on the contribution of the Sikhs to the promotion of Persian studies. Uh, I feel honoured and extremely privileged to do that. but at the same time i feel extremely skeptical of my credentials to inaugurate such an important seminar attended by so many scholars but then in a feat of absent mindedness i chose to make a fool of myself by agreeing to the request of me at mr fuad ali to inaugurate this seminar and that's why i am before you I rely totally on your sense of generosity and forgiveness to suffer me for that and beg to be excused for my folly if there be any. I have been to Iran society's function on several occasions in the past. <clears throat> and I am deeply moved by its cultural ambiance. having been established in 1944 by dr mohammad ishaq an eminent orientalist this has been a center of excellence for promotion of indo persian and indo iranian cultural pursuits several noted intellectuals of our country and abroad have praised the society for its multicultural activities the society has enriched the rich heritage of our country's culture india is a multilingual multireligious multiethnic country which has attracted the attention and admiration of various philosophers in various generations all over the world our nation who is rooted in the wave of a synthesized culture and we have through the ages inherited a hierarchy of values which are primarily focused on assimilation and absorption that explains why our national charter that means our constitution is inclusive and transformative in nature in bringing about a social renaissance therefore homogeneity is an anathema to our values we try and develop 
in the midst of cultural diversity and weave a cohesive pattern not of di out of such diversity. That is what Chibo called the cultural give and take. Those who are students of history may agree with me that the conquest of India by Turks may be a dark spot in, in our history, with the redeeming feature among these dark clouds is the impact of Persian language on the cultural ethos of Indian civilization, especially the emergence of Sufistic thought on our culture. We have given human civilization a new depth. As a result, Punjabi culture, language, and literature have great and forward thinking traditions. The process of bursting the foundation of the spirit of humanity beings to pick up a stream as soon as discussing of the contribution of the Sikh comes up. As soon as the Sikh Gurus are brought up in conversation, the foundation building process for the spirit of humanity pick up a speed, the contribution of the Sikh Guru illuminated this global and allowed humanity to develop. He spoke for people who like to hear him. His words were like nectar to the people. His words have the power to search the doom of the current situation. The world is re reflected in brotherhood and world peace, which is the message of his speech. All the world initiatives have been launched to a, a new perspective these serious discussions among researchers from the nation and the globe in order to show the truth of this side. This worldwide seminar has been put up on by the Iran society in place its effectiveness after COVID-19. An attempt has been made to bring together a chemical storm around the world to hold a serious discussion on this subject. The theme of this international seminar is the contributions of the Sikhs to the promotion of Persian studies. By slaving lights on this matter, it will become clear why and how the Sikh Guru successfully continued the study and contemplation of Persian. From eighth of the topic, APS is straightforward, as efforts will be made to develop into the subject state. In fact, it will become clear how fast and important this topic is in all aspects of our society. The issue of history comes up when this subject is discussed. In addition to talking about language, culture is also important. مراتبہ رکھا ہے اس کو یاد کرتے ہوئے یہاں پر سب اکترت ہوئے ہیں اگر دیکھا جائے تو ہمارے شریر میں ہمارے میں اور پسوں میں کوئی زیادہ انتر نہیں ہے آواز ہمارے پاس بھی ہے اور آواز پسوں کے پاس بھی ہے اور پشو جگت سے جو ہمیں الگ کرتا ہے جس کی وجہ سے ہم انسان کہلا سکتے ہیں وہ کیول آواز نہیں ہے وہ الفاظ ہیں وہ شبد ہیں جو ہمیں اس پرگدار میں عطا فرمائے ہیں اور ہماری اس معمولی جیون کی جھولی کو شبدوں کے رتنوں سے مالا مال کر دیا ہے بھاشا شبد ایک سمپت سوتر ہے جسے ہم اپنی بھاوناؤں کو دوسروں تک بیعت کر سکتے ہیں اپنی بھاونائیں پہنچا سکتے ہیں جیسے خدا کا بھگوان کا ہمیں شکر گزار ہونا چاہیے اور ہم اس کا شکر گزار کرتے ہیں اسی طرح ہمیں ہر بھاشا کا بھی سبکار کرنا چاہیے چاہے وہ کوئی بھاشا ہے شری گرو گرن صاحب مہاراج جی میں گرو نانک دیو جی سے لے کر شری گرو گوبند سنگھ مہاراج جی تک 
ان کی جو شبداولی ہے شیلی ہے تہذیب و تمدن ہے اس کو اگر گہرائی سے دیکھیں تو آپ کو ہر بھاشا کا سمان ملے گا ابھی تک ہمارے بھارت میں بہت ساری بھاشائیں ہیں جن کو بھاشا کا درجہ بھی پراپ نہیں ہے کسی خاص خطے میں کسی خاص علاقے میں تھوڑی سی جگہ پر وہ بھاشائیں بولی جاتی ہیں شری گرو گرنتھ صاحب جی مہاراج نے سبھی بھاشاؤں کو بدل گیر کیا گیا ہے گلے سے لگایا گیا ہے سمان کیا گیا ہے شری گرو گرنتھ صاحب مہاراج جی کی بھاشائیں آپ کریں گے تو آپ اناندت ہو جائیں گے اس میں آپ کو الگ الگ علاقوں کی بھاشائیں مل جائیں گی جو راگ شیلی ہے گرو گرنتھ صاحب جی میں راگ کا گائن شیلی جو ہے وہ بھی شیلی جی مہاراج جی نے بھاشائیں سبھی پویتر ہیں پاورم ہیں اور اس میں جو پرمو کے پرین کا پیالہ ہے وہ شرکتا ہوا دکھائی پڑتا ہے بھاشا کو بھی عبادت کی طرح بولنا چاہیے بڑے سوفٹنس سے بڑے پریم سے بڑے نازک 